What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is Android P on the Google Pixel 2 XL. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the settings for the launcher on here. I've already gone and done a video for the gestures, so you can check that out if you want to, to see what's gonna be the future of Android. But let's get right into the settings of this launcher. So all you do is press and hold on one of the home screens and you can see right off the bat, it does say, Home settings, widgets, and wallpaper. So let's go into home settings. And in home settings, we have a few things in here. We have notification dots, which are going to be, obviously if I have notifications, there's gonna be little dots. That's not really anything new that's been there before. Uh, at a glance is gonna be what's at the top of the screen on the home screen. It's gonna say at the top of your home screen, obviously, which it just I just said. So you can control what's gonna be on there, like calendar events, upcoming flight information, and traffic information. I leave all of that stuff on because I like seeing it, so I keep it on. Uh, and I'll show you where that is. That's ultimately gonna be right here. So if there had something coming up, it would replace the time uh, and the, uh, the date, I should say, and put, you know, oh, you have a flight coming up or you have some other thing coming up. Next we have add icons to home screens for new apps. So when you download a new app from the Google Play Store, it adds it automatically to the home screen. I like doing that. Display the Google app to the left of the main home screen. That is this right here, where it shows kind of like, you know, Google information, uh, news, all kinds of cool stuff. And I like having that as well. It doesn't bother me one bit. It doesn't slow it down like, Sometimes in the past, Samsung has their version of what they have. Uh, Google's is just fine and dandy with me. Suggestions for overview and all apps list. So it tells you apps and overview at the top of all your apps list, actions at the top of all your apps list and overview section when switching apps, touch and hold, text images to see actions. Next up is change icon shape. So you, it's set to system default, but you can change it to square, rounded square, Squirkle or teardrop. So if I changed it to square, I'll show you what that looks like. It's gonna apply the changes. And then all of these apps should be squared out. And you can see they are. And I don't know if they're always squared, I actually forget. Let me see, I'm gonna go back to default. Let's see what they are when you go back to default. I thought they were circular. I could be wrong on this. But yeah, I guess they're square and circular. I guess it just depends on the app. But that's kind of cool if you can change the icon shapes for the apps and then the about thing is nothing let's go back in here and go into widgets widgets definitely has changed a little bit the way it looks it's a white background i think it was black before i can't remember but it definitely looks different to me it, it could be exactly the same but i don't think it is it looks clearer and cleaner uh to go through you know if you want to add anything to one of your home screens it's going to be the same way you would do it with something else so if i wanted to add um say my pocket casts I could add it right here, for instance, and I can play the next podcast or whatever. And it's just a quick way to get to uh, an app. And then let's go back in and go to wallpapers. Wallpapers is gonna be the same as well if you've used it in the past. It just is like the Google wallpapers, which are all actually pretty nice. And they're really easy to set. So say you wanted to do something with seascapes, you can come in here, choose one that you like, and then it's gonna load up. And in the top right, you just hit set wallpaper. And when you hit that, it's gonna ask you for home, lock, or both. So it's real simple and it works really good. So that's kind of a walkthrough of the settings for the app launcher. I actually really enjoy the Google um, Pixel launcher. I think it's clean, it's easy to use. I don't really honestly mess around with stuff too much. And you can also, you know, just customizing it stuff. You can customize it just by, uh, you know, adding widgets and things like that. And then, yeah. So, I mean, I know some of you guys like some more control over it, but this is absolutely fine with me. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and uh, ideas of improving this down below. And I'll see you down the road. Peace.